Larry Scott, explain to me how this decision, which I know is not easy, came about. Yeah, well, we've been around the clock trying to keep up with the new news and information and advice from public health authorities. And it really started from the beginning of the day today. There's a lot of new information coming out. Uh, testimony in Washington, a World Health Organization updating their recommendations. Uh, and throughout the day, the NCA convened a meeting of their board of directors and ultimately came out with guidance from their COVID-19 advisory board of medical experts that they weren't going to have fans and they were going to have limited attendance at the NCAA tournament games. Based on that, I've been in consultation throughout the day with our athletics directors, university presidents, and importantly, our peer conferences wow. from across the country, uh, trying to decide what was the appropriate step. And reluctantly, we came to the conclusion we needed to follow suit. And I say reluctantly, so we really feel for our fans that are here in Las Vegas, the student athletes that want to play in front of fans, and they're not going to be able to. but. You know, I guess the uh, operative words, you know, from our leadership, we made this decision in concert with our presidents and chancellors. We need to show an abundance of caution and contribute to the efforts to limit the spread of this disease. Larry, and to be clear about this process, because you're talking about the conversations that happened today, but the conversations with the CDC, they've been going back weeks, maybe months, correct? Absolutely. This has been ongoing, and we've been trying to keep up at every step of the way with the advice from leading medical experts and public health authorities. And on top of that, we've got 12 of the leading universities in the country with some of the best medical schools and amazing medical research. So we've also had access to incredible intelligence on this from our 12 universities. So we've been processing all that information and trying to align with our universities and what were the appropriate steps along the way. Larry, I want to take you back to something in the statement because it says similar limited fan policies are going to apply to Pac-12 sport competitions this coming spring. Is there, are there conversations right now happening about potentially not having any of those events considering the NBA just releasing moments ago that they are going to suspend the season? Yeah, so at the moment, uh, we are planning on conducting uh, all of our athletic events, albeit with restrictive attendance policy. Some of our schools had already enacted that on their own. Uh, we made a decision on our call with the president's chancellors just about an hour ago that that will be across the board and every school will apply it. Um, obviously, this is an evolving situation. Um, every hour, there appears to be new news, and we will continue to monitor the situation. And as there's new information, uh, we may have to consider other steps. It's a fluid situation, which is abundantly clear. Appreciate you stopping by the set for a couple minutes here. And just to keep everyone abreast, of course, the games on Pac-12 Network, we will continue to have complete coverage through the duration of the conference tournament. Larry, once again, thank you.